Hey Virgo, welcome to this reading. This is going to be a tarot and oracle card reading for the zodiac sign of Virgo. And if you have Virgo sun, Virgo moon, or Virgo rising in your chart, there may be some messages here for you. Please feel free to go in the description box and check out the links to my Patreon. Check out the links to my uh, website where you, you can book personal tarot readings, personal healing sessions, sound healing, and Reiki with yours truly. Um, so Virgo, your first card for your first, your current energy is the two of pentacles that just popped out for you. Let's get two more cards for Virgo's current energy. We have the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Swords in the reverse. So Virgo, I feel like you're juggling. You're juggling a lot of responsibilities. You're juggling a lot, um, trying to balance a lot of things out for yourself. And there are new things that are coming into your energy as well that you're trying to balance as well. Um, but with the Ace of Swords in reverse, I feel like there is a lack of communication on your part or someone that is in your energy is um, you and that person are lacking in communication. There is definitely a, a lack of communication with something or about something or with someone that um, you're currently dealing with. And I feel like this is part of the reason why you feel um, like you need to juggle. I feel like you are, you're feeling like you need to take everything on and take care of, of everything. But I feel like where, you know, while that is fine, that is a natural Virgo tendency is to kind of um, micromanage and kind of hoard all the work for themselves. At the same time, you do have help, okay? And I believe this is what the Ace of Wands is, is representing here for you, is, you know, help being offered to you, all right? So this lack of communication that is, that you're experiencing is because that you, you're taking on a lot more than you can handle and help is being offered to you. All right. So allow people to come in and help you allow, um, you know, allow the help, allow the support so that you are able to manage your responsibilities more effectively, more efficiently. All right. So let's see, Virgo, what you have coming towards you. What's coming towards Virgo? Mm, endings. Really deep endings. You're ending a cycle. King of Pentacles. Okay, you're ending a cycle. But also... There's opportunities here of business, opportunities of abundance that's coming towards you as well. So I feel like you are going to be ending that hoarding. Oh, the wheel of fortune is coming towards you as well. So I feel like you're ending this whole this whole phase of miscommunications, of having too much on your plate, of juggling, and I feel like you are going to take heed and 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 accept help, accept support, because you have, um, you know, the opportunities and, and, um, abundance coming towards you, the wheel of fortune, luck, destined, predestined events that, um, are sort, are sort of going to catapult you into this like realm of, of real financial freedom and abundance. Okay, and um, many, many opportunities. And I feel like what the key is, is to allow that support, allow others to come in and work with you and work for you and work, you know, collaborate, allow that. 
okay because that's that's the key to you expanding that's the key to you gaining new opportunities you know what i'm saying opening yourself up to the opportunities and the predestined events that are waiting for you that's key virgo accept that support so possible outcomes Okay, possible one possible outcome is the three of swords. Okay, but we're going to pull some other cards and see what else. Hmm, possible outcomes more four of wands and six of swords. So I definitely see you moving, possibly moving on moving away from a certain situation um, that has disappointed you, that has bring you, brought you a bit of pain, okay? And you're moving on from that. But then there's the Four of Wands here that talks about happiness at the same time. So, you know, I feel like a few of you are going to be disappointed in some way, um, your heart's going to be broken in some way, um, and you're going to feel like you need to move on. And then there are others of you that are going to experience um, a real joyful situation, you know, marriage, happiness, um, you know, things of that nature, things that are really going to really make you happy some of you might be getting married if you see here the four of wands card is that they call this the marriage card okay but some of you are going to experience some disappointment and you're going to move on from whatever it is that's disappointing you whatever if it's a situation or if it's a person okay because the going back to this ending here that's coming towards you some of you are ending you know, situations that need, that are going to need to end in order for you to move forward. And I really feel like a lot of you are going to um, really let go of things, really allow, learn to, it's going to be a healing process. And as I said that, I, you know, I just noticed that the bottom of the deck is the star card, which is the healing card which is the card of restoration, which is the card of getting back into alignment, which is the card of, you know, getting all, getting everything back into alignment. This is the card after the tower, after everything comes down. Um, and then the star card comes in and, and helps you to build everything back up and helps you to heal and get back into alignment. So I feel like for a lot of you, um, there is a point where you're going to be moving on from, from something or someone that hurt you or broke your heart and it, it, but it had to happen. It had to end, um, so that you can come back into alignment and really, um, step fully into your power, step into your power, into your, your abundant selves. Okay. So I'm going to get three clarifiers and see if we can just get more information. Just get more. Let's get three clarifiers for Virgo. Justice. Yeah. There's definitely some balancing of the scales. Justice coming. It's karmic justice because you're you're putting things to an end nine of swords in reverse yeah there is a there was your you were dealing with a lot of anxiety and a lot of turmoil and this in, in reverse talks about you know you not being anxious you not being depressed because things are coming back into alignment for you and i feel that you were feeling overwhelmed with the two of pentacles here. You, know, you 
you felt overwhelmed. You had a lot on your plate and um, you needed support. You were offered, you're offered support and part of you going down your journey is you um, accepting that support, accepting help and not um, and, and not um, hoarding all of your responsibilities, all of your responsibilities. It's really imperative that you let people know what you need so that you can move forward, so that you can alleviate some of the anxiety and the stress that you're holding. And once you let that go, you're able to free your energy up for this King of Pentacles and Wheel of Fortune energy, all right? Um, but it's a process because if you're so used to hoarding things and so used to taking everything on for yourself, you just can't change that behavior overnight, okay? And again, here, the Five of Pentacles came out. I feel like some of you are still trying to hold on to that to that energy and still that those feelings of lack of feelings, feelings of being unsupported Virgo and that that's part of the reason why you have to let that go because you are supported um, in every way you are being offered support by you know the physical things around you the physical people around you and also you're being offered support by spirit by your spirit team by your guides all right so just know that you are always fully, fully supported and that justice is coming in for you. You are going to be moving on from whatever is not serving you, whatever is breaking your heart, that will happen for you and you will be healing from it as well. Okay. So I want to get a message, a surrender card for Virgo and see what are the things that Virgo needs to to surrender what are the things that Virgo needs to surrender to or surrender let go Let's get a card for Virgo ah two of them came out okay surrender frustration surrender frustration Virgo I'll read the card frustration doesn't open any doors the key to resolving a dilemma or dissolving a block is to take a breath, center yourself and regroup so you may approach the situation more calmly. Definitely. I really feel that this ha this is has to do with the five of pentacles, that feeling of frustration, that feeling of lack, that block, you know what I'm saying? That block of feeling like um, you don't have any support, that you don't have enough. All right, surrender that, surrender that feeling because you are supported. You are highly, highly favored and divinely guided. All right, so surrender to rest and sleep as well, Virgo. <laughs> this is so poetic. To prevent burnout, slow down. Honor your need for quiet time and peaceful sleep to rejuvenate your mind, body, and spirit. I don't even have to expand on that. That is all said in that card. This is your reading, Virgo. I hope that it resonated or it supported you in any way that you needed. Please go ahead and like the video, comment, share, and most importantly, subscribe to my channel. And um, don't forget to check out the description box for all the links to contact me, to work with me, and to join my exclusive Patreon community. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.